guys, so for today's video, i kind of recapping my favorite products of the year, but today I'm going to talk about my favorite new sunscreens from 2023 that came out this year. And I've got a good mix of uh, different brands and different finishes and mineral, chemical. Uh, and most of these, I think with the exception of one of them, are all fragrance-free. So... Let me start with my first one that I love from this year, and that's the Peacom Water Barrier Sun Cream, right? Water Barrier Sun Cream, SPF 50. This one's really nice. Fragrance-free, alcohol-free. It's got five chemical filters on it. It's got a really nice um, texture to it. So, and uh, you can apply this pretty liberally without any issues, and it really uh, has a nice finish, a natural finish, I would say. It's not uh, super shiny or greasy. It works really well under foundation, and again, uh, lots of good chemical filters in this one, and it one's uh, made in Korea, so they get to use the better filters. And now that I th when I think about all these, I think all the chemical ones I'm going to mention, all of them have at least five chemical filters. And I think of back to uh, Purito with their Centella Unscented Sunscreen with their two little filters in there. And I think they were trying to advertise that this was as good as some other ones anyway. Okay, next up, Mineral One, Untinted, the Summer Friday Shade Drop SPF 30. Uh, this one's a zinc oxide-based sunscreen. It's fragrance and alcohol-free. Let me give it a good shake. Uh, I would say it's on the hydrating side. It's got uh, squalane in here, and it works pretty nice under foundations. There we go. So there's a little bit of it right here, and it uh, really ends up with no white cast. So, I mean, I guess it has a slight tint to it, but it doesn't uh, tint the skin at all. Although when you put this on, uh, on the days I use this one, I typically end up just applying uh, powder over it, no foundation. So I guess the little the little bit of tint is that's in here uh, ends up making it so there's no white cast. So it's really nice, really hydrating, really lovely in there. Foundate, they also came with a foundation this year and I really enjoy that one. As well as their lip balm. I just have to say it again. I love their lip balm. Their lip butter balm. It's amazing. Okay, next up. So it's probably the most expensive on the list. And it probably has the worst packaging for such a great product. The packaging on this one is awful. And it's the Tatcha Silk Sunscreen. I love this stuff. It's really uh, on a lot of these recent winter, kind of wintry days where it's starting to get cold out. This one is so hydrating. The packaging is just awful. I haven't had my packaging flake as much as other people have, but I've been pretty careful. And also, if you store it lane side, lying down, and you open it up, <coughs> excuse me, it'll spill everywhere. So anyway, although people have been covering with tape and like packaging tape to prevent the flakes, but I just, I love, I hate the packaging. I hate the price of it, but I really enjoy the sunscreen itself. It's got a slight tint to it. I think it's, um, zinc oxide 10 percent zinc oxide so it's got a slight tint to it and uh very hydrating great for these dry days and anyway so really nice sunscreen love the formula hate the packaging normally it's the other way around tatcha normally i love the packaging and hate the product but this time they've got it backwards but their other sunscreen's really nice too Okay, next up, coming in from Neutrogena, what do they call this one? They're Pure Screen Tinted Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. They have it in four shades. It's titanium oxide and zinc oxide sunscreen. Fragrance and alcohol-free. The shade I have, I think, is light, but they have four different shades of it. It's really nice, hydrating mineral sunscreen with a little bit of tint in it. Oh, hang on. It's kind of gooping out. Okay, we don't like that. Let me give it a shake. So, uh, anyway, so I'm pretty fair, so the light shade is perfect for me. Okay, oh, Cameron's coughing in the background. Okay, so there we go. It's really nice, really hydrating, and kind of evens the skin tone out a bit. This one, I will say, I still need to use foundation over it, but um, I'm okay with that because it's really nice. Uh, anyway, so really nice and hydrating, no fragrance in it, which is also really wonderful. So I really enjoy this one. The bottle's kind of tiny, 1.1 ounces, kind of small for sunscreen, but anyway... I think that's tiny compared to all of them. This one, even the Tatcha one is 1.7 ounces. This one's really tiny. So anyway, okay, I'm not a big fan of tiny sunscreens. Okay, next up, the Numbuzin Clear Filter Sun Essence SPF 50. Uh, this one is also fragrance-free, alcohol-free. It's a chemical sunscreen with five filters. 
it's on the hydrating side so I, if you have drier skin i think this might be up your alley there we go here's a little and i think i've reviewed almost all of these i want to say or i've done a full review of all of them this one's just really nice five good filters i use this one a lot on some hotter days during the summer because it really has a nice uh, matte finish so very nice sunscreen chemical sunscreen no fragrance no denatured alcohol Okay, next up, another newer one this year is the Jumiso Ah Sun Airy Fit Sunscreen SPF 50. Another chemical K-Beauty sunscreen. It's pretty darn affordable. I think it's like 11 bucks, I want to say. And it's got uh, five chemical filters in it. So here's a little swatch of it. Uh, no white cast, really nice sunscreen. It's uh, on the hydrating side, but doesn't look or feel greasy, but... I will say on days when I, when I use this one, I do set it with a little bit of powder, but otherwise it's not terribly shiny or greasy, but uh, anyway, so, and uh, there's no tint to it, so what else does it say? Ultralight, UVA, UVB protection, super affordable. You won't feel guilty using this one. Okay, next up, I got a couple more. The Round Lab Dok Do Sunscreen, SPF 50. This is a really nice one. Round Lab has some really nice sunscreen options and i've been pretty happy with all the ones i've tried from round lab and this is one of them so i finished up what was the last sunscreen i was using a lot probably was the claire's sunscreen and when i finished that one up this one became kind of my next go-to just i leave it right on my counter and it's the one i go to next out of habit unless unless it's kind of cold or dry outside so anyway fragrance free alcohol free there we go very nice finish on it and uh, works nice under foundation and things like that okay next up so this one is probably the exception to the rule this one does contain fragrance it does contain alcohol and i still like it and uh it's the beauty of joseph ginseng sun serum which i couldn't find it took me like 20 minutes to find this one in my stash of stuff even though it was like right in front of me i love when that happens i will spend 20 minutes looking for it and like I knew I was just using it yesterday where did I said it and yeah anyway so Beauty of Joseph said they included fragrance in it to cover up the scent of the alcohol there's not a ton of alcohol in here but I think they did mention somewhere that they were going to make a fragrance free version of this so I'd be all over because I really enjoy the texture of this one it's got a gel texture so uh, I think it's probably ideal for oilier skin types or for very humid weather so here's a little swatch of it the scent isn't terribly strong i think it's got juniper jasmine oil or juniper oil and it dissipates pretty quickly and the gel texture is really lovely so that is the outlier from all of these the fact that these were all fragrance free and then here we go with one with fragrance in it but i still really enjoy it they come out with the fragrance free version i'd be all over it uh, and then i've got a couple runners up the kosas dream beam mineral SPF. It's got peptides and ceramides in here. It's fragrance free. It's got a really uh, nice tint to it and kind of a serum -y texture to it. And it kind of doubles as a foundation. Depends on how, how many skin issues you have, like my hyperpigmentation, melasma. It's hard to cover up. So this one uh, kind of evens it out. If, I'm at, if I was actually going somewhere important, I'd probably still put foundation on, but it has a little bit of a tint to it, which is nice. So if you're feeling low maintenance, then you don't need that. Next up, the Then I Met You uh, Sun, super, what do they call it? Essence Light Sunscreen. This one's made in the U.S. It's fragrance-free, but it uses U.S.-based filters, but it's still a really nice sunscreen that I really do enjoy. But you know what? We know, especially if you're in the U.S., you know that U.S. filters aren't great especially when it comes to UVA rays, which are the ones that would age you. So yeah, take it or lose it. And then the lab Ol Oligo Hyaluronic Acid Sun Essence. This was another one I really like. It's super light, no fragrance, chemical sunscreen, and uh, really nice finish and things like that. So this is probably my last runner up. So a lot of new sunscreens came out this year, and these just happen to be my favorites. And I'm pretty impressed with my you know what, typically I just kind of go for more of the chemical sunscreens, but sometimes the mineral ones are just nice uh, to use. And if you have sensitive skin, sometimes the mineral ones end up working uh, to be less sensitizing than some of the chemical filters. So um, anyway, so those are my favorites from the year. Interested hearing from you guys. If you have any favorites, uh, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye guys.